This is a cardboard surfboard. Cardboard and water. Surely they don't mix. We met up with Mike Martinez to find out how this idea got from the boardroom to the beach. The idea for the cardboard surfboard to me came from my boss. When he came to me with that idea, I immediately thought, cool. I thought it's gonna be awesome. And the thing with these projects is you start out with a ton of confidence and then the realization of what you got accomplished starts to kick in. We actually had to accomplish something that hasn't been done before. So how did Mike and the team create this novel surfboard? Cardboard may seem like a ridiculous material to build a surfboard out of, but there's actually some great characteristics about it. It's eco-friendly, it's lightweight, and it can be surprisingly strong. The cardboard that Mike uses is a special packing material called hexacomb, and the hexacomb is a bunch of these hexagon tubes stacked next to each other. It's flexible in this direction, but in this direction, it's incompressible. So, you can stand on it and you can be well assured that it's not going to snap. And that's why this is a viable material for a surfboard. When we first thought of the honeycomb, that's when the lights lit up on everyone. Everyone in the media all of a sudden, boom, instantly knew that's what we want to do. We want to use honeycomb. How did Mike manage to precisely cut this flexible card? Mike sprayed the hexacomb cardboard with polyurethane spray. This had the effect of changing the material properties, making the cardboard more rigid so it could be more easily machined. The polyurethane not only stiffens the hexacomb, but it also makes it waterproof. So if the board springs a leak, only that one tube will get wet and the whole board doesn't flood. After they've shaped the board, they cover it in the standard surfboard skin, which is a fiberglass sheet consisting of long, thin strands of glass suspended in a resin. The fiberglass seals off those hexacomb tubes, making this thing float but it has an added effect of being transparent, so you can see through the hexacomb tubes as well as the fiberglass. So that means you can see through the whole board. That moment when we first took, took that board out on the beach is just joy. It just performed better than we had hoped. In fact, it, it kind of backfires on us because now people don't call me because they want a box, they call me because they want a surfboard. <laughs>